Forget about electric cars as the transport of the future. A Darwin inventor has his own unique way of getting around, and it's something he built in his backyard. It's a hovercraft that not only floats, but can also have wings fitted to make it fly. From a young age, flight enthusiast James Greenberger has dreamed of building a hovercraft. Now that dream is blowing the leaves away in his front yard. So about when I was 12, I wanted to build this hovercraft called a Pegasus I found on the internet. It was just a round plywood disc with a lawnmower engine. His father was less enthusiastic and the dream was shelved. Fast forward more than a decade later and he bought plans to build his first hovercraft. At the same time as deciding that small one, I wanted to build the big one, but I thought it would be uh, a safer option and economical option to start with a small one. His first attempt was a write-off, and so he bought plans for a second, much larger hovercraft, complete with detachable wings. And they were just four sheets of paper. That's all I had. There was no instructions whatsoever, just uh, some 2D drawings with dimensions. But getting the materials and equipment he needed in Darwin was another matter. $1,800 worth of foam I had to get shipped up from Perth. The engine came from Coffs Harbour. The wing spars came from Sydney. After almost a year of building, beachgoers were blown away as the flying machine was tested on Darwin Harbour. When I get to 90 kilometres an hour and pull back on the elevator, it took off for the first time, which was very interesting. Amateur footage of the test flight also took off on social media, racking up more than 900,000 views. Though there's still some work to do, James says it's been a flying success. Oh, it's extremely fun knowing that something I've built from completely from scratch, including the propellers, works. And the propellers didn't break. <laughs> After a paint job, it will be taken to the water again in July for Darwin's beer can regatta. Mitchell Abram, ABC News, Darwin. Now.